Okay, we always start with vocabulary. So our first vocabulary is continent. Continent. Continent is one of the seven land masses of the Earth's surface. There are seven continents. Can you name them all? Of course, we have Asia, we have、uh, Australia, and it also includes、um, New Zealand, so we could call it Oceania. Some people call it Oceania. Africa, Europe,、uh, North America, South America. And is that seven? We've got Asia, Oceania, Africa, Europe, North America, South America. We're missing one. Where did it go? Well, it's not on our map. It's on the South Pole. It's called Antarctica, right? That is another huge landmass that is all along the bottom of your map. If you look at your world map, it's not that big, of course. <laughs>、uh, it's just the the shape of the map. Okay, but it is a it is a big landmass on the South Pole, and those are seven. Continents. Continents, of course, are land masses. That's where people live. People and animals and plants live there. Layer. Now, a layer is a thickness of a material covering a surface. So, think about your hand. There is a layer of skin on your hand, and the skin covers the entire surface of your hand. So, skin is a layer. It's a thickness, and your skin has certain thickness of a material that covers a surface. So whatever it is, you know there is a layer of something、uh, that covers the surface of another thing. That is what we call the layer. Crust. Crust is an interesting word. Okay, now I'm not talking about bread. Okay, if you bake bread, you have.、Um, uh, The the bread gets baked and it's soft in the middle, but it might be a little bit hard on the outside. It's a little bit browner on the outside, depending on how you cook your bread. If you cook it too long, it gets black. But anyway, <laughs> the brown crust of your bread is the layer、uh, around your bread. But the Earth has a similar idea. The Earth has a crust as well, and that's the top layer of the Earth's surface. It's the outer part of the Earth that covers the mantle, but the crust. Is really thick. Normally, we talk about you know like the crust of bread is very thin. The layer of my skin over my hand is very thin, but the crust of the Earth is very, very thick, especially in relation to us human beings, right? But that is the crust. It is in relation to the rest of the Earth. It's kind of thin and it covers the mantle. Okay, we'll talk about mantle next. Mantle, of course, is underneath the crust. That's the inner part of the Earth, and it covers the core. So basically, we're talking about three parts of the Earth, right? We have the crust here, we have the mantle here, and then the core is here. And of course, the next one is core. Core, the center part of the Earth. That's the middle of the Earth. It's very hot. Nobody has ever been to the core. It's too deep. You can't you can't dig or drill that far underground. Nobody has ever done it.、Uh, in fact, the most drills that have ever、uh, been done have really just poked little holes in the crust. It's very difficult to hit to the core, except for certain places on the Earth. Okay, but that is the the we have the crust, we have the mantle, and we have the core. Those are the three main parts on the inside of the Earth. Now the next word is melt. If something is very very hot, right? You turn it from a solid to a liquid. Now you can turn rocks and metal that is very hard, and usually you think you know in the winter it gets very cold, but you can heat it up so much that it can turn into a liquid. I used to work at a mining company, a gold mining company, and to get the gold from the ground and to make gold bars, they would heat. The ore, and they would heat it so much that the gold would settle on the bottom, and then they could pour it out in, into a bar. And when it cooled, it was a bar of gold. It was pretty big and heavy. Okay, so you can melt almost anything from a solid to a liquid. Depth. Depth is the distance from the top to the bottom. Of something. So, if you're thinking this is a good picture, right? So, you think about the surface is up here of the ocean. That's the surface. What is the depth? That is the distance from the from the layer of water on the surface to the bottom of the、uh, 
of the ocean, the rock. How deep is that? What is the depth? We could also say, how deep is it? How deep? So we change the word a little bit. How deep is it? We change the word. How deep is it? And uh, that's an adjective, right? Deep. Um, and that would be depth is a noun. What is the depth? Same question. The distance from the top to the bottom of something. So you could say like the swimming pool is the deep end. Oh, pandero. The opposite of deep is shallow. Shallow. So you have the shallow end of the swimming pool. You can stand up. But then the deep end, you cannot stand up because the depth is more than your height. Okay. Next. Above. Above is something that is directly over or higher than something. Now, this is an interesting picture. It shows the old idea of an iceberg. 90% uh, of the iceberg is below water. 10% is above water. So the part of the iceberg that is above the surface of the water, we say it's above. And the opposite of that would be below, of course. So above, directly over or higher than something. And then, of course, our opposite word is below. Below means to be under something or lower than something. Of course, we're talking in relation to the surface of the water. So if it's under the surface of the water, it is below. And 90% of the iceberg is below the surface of the water. Now, if it's in this area, if it's over the surface of the water, it is above. Above and below, they are direct opposites. Okay, so those are our words for the lesson. Let's move on. Lesson 6. Earth Structure. Continent. One of the seven land masses on the Earth's surface. Layer. Thickness of a material covering a surface. Crust. The outer part of the earth that covers the mantle. Mantle. The inner part of the earth that covers the core. Core. The center part of the earth. Melt. To turn from something solid to something liquid. Depth. The distance from the top to the bottom of something. Above. Directly over or higher than something. Below. Directly under or lower than something.